Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of XPS Updates, the show that brings you all of the latest information for our fantastic application Final Fantasy Brave XPS Global, available to you guys on iOS, Android, and Amazon devices. I am your host, Shali, and we're here with our always special guest. Hello, I'm Hirok, I'm producer of Final Fantasy Brave XPS Global version. That's right. It's already September, mm -hmm. uh, which means that it's nearing the end of the summer. But also, the hot season of FFBE is still yet to continue. Mm -hmm. So we will announce the new units from Summer Festival and other hot news. Okay, mm. so we just celebrated two years of FFBE. It was a lot of fun, but now we get a Summer Festival to celebrate too? The festival is about its secret until in the end of the show. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to have to wait until the end of the show to finally find out yeah. what it is, but then maybe we can start learning about some new units coming? Yeah, the character is uh, featured in the second uh, second season. It's finally coming at the vision. Okay, mm. well, who could that vision be, and can yeah. we find out? <laughs> so anyway, let's move on. It's Dazzle's turn. On to you. All right, welcome back to the show. I am Dasol from the FFP team, and today I will be again bringing you the latest information on the exciting new units and exciting new events. Heck yes! And this time around, we have season two units coming up. Apparently, mm -hmm. I mean, we've been in season two for a, a little bit, so it's yeah. not uh, you know particularly new, but mm -hmm. the units are definitely new, and definitely. I really want to know who is joining the fray this time around. Yes, so. We have a new story event coming, mm -hmm. and with the story event, we'll be getting three new characters. Mm -hmm. um, one of we we have Chatal, we have Domino, and the legendary. <laughs> if you've been keeping eyes on our community, you might have heard rumors of Hyo. Yes, the one and only uh, the the legend <laughs> himself or so, herself. I mean. Wearing a mask, oh, let's, let's keep it, you know, <laughs> mysterious. Yeah, so in the new story event, um, the story event is going to be featuring these new, three, these three new characters, and mm -hmm. uh, you'll be able to know a bit more about this mysterious Sorman Hyo mm -hmm. in this event. And of course, if you complete the uh, complete, complete events and do the missions, you will be able to get the usual stuff, such as Lapis, Chris, as well as some um, event limited items. And I'm going to go out of my way and uh, advise you to grab the Tonfa, a uh, two handed fist weapon that Domino uses. Okay. The numbers are going to show a bit low, but it has man eater and it's a two hand weapon and it's going to be a lot stronger than it seems on paper, but mm -hmm. I'll be getting into those a bit more in detail later on. Okay, okay so the Moving on to the three new units, uh, let's start out with Domino, mm -hmm. the three to five star unit. So she's going to be a physical damage dealer and the unique thing, the special thing about her is going to be that she has a skill that can raise the rest of the part, all of the parties LB gauge by a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she also has a, a very handy skill in trust. So, if you're into LBs, maybe you can, con you can you can consider her. The thing with um, low rarity units who have interest is that low low rarity units usually have a lower LB gauge, mm -hmm. and interest only count. It only looks at what percentage of the gauge is filled up. So low low rarity units they're easy to fill up the LB gauge, and if you entrust that to another unit, you you're going to get whatever whatever percent of the gauge you had filled up. So, yeah, tricks. Yeah, tricks. Exploits. Exploits. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on to the four to six star unit, mm. um, it's going to be Chatal, the, the, the guy with the really big shield. Mm -hmm. And well, as his appearance gives away, he's going to be the new, new tank. Mm. And the thing about Chatal is going to be that he will be able to pinpoint cover allies like Gladio or Ozeta. Mm -hmm. So unlike other um, covers which only cover physical or magical, Shazhal is going to be able to block both physical and magical damage from one of 
your allies that, that you pinpoint. Okay. And even apart from that, he will be able to provoke the enemy as well. So going to be useful for those hard-hitting bosses. Yeah, essential. keeping those healers alive, mm -hmm. right? And his LB is a uh, AoE dam damage re reduction and that debuff resets that lasts for three turns. Those aren't exactly new, but mm -hmm. the percentages are pretty, pretty nice, and it does last for three turns. So you might want to consider him yeah, for the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the highlight of perhaps this video. I'm getting <laughs> chills. I mean, last but <coughs> certainly not least, mm -hmm. we have Hyo, uh, the five to seven star mm -hmm. attacker. Wow, Hyo is <laughs> <laughs> meta changing. Yeah, so revolutionary. Hyo is going to be the new Orlando, and every everybody's going to have their friend list filled up with Hyo's. <laughs> well said. I, I believe this is one hundred percent accurate. Mm -hmm. The thing about these TDH true double hand units such as Hyo is that two handed weapons. Mm -hmm. Well. These TDH units can make the most out of t uh, two handed weapons because they don't dual wield and they have double abilities, triple abilities, etc. Et and the thing about two handed weapons are that even if they have the same numbers compared to one handed weapons, two handed weapons do a lot more damage because of the way that two handed weapons work. Mm -hmm. So even if you have the same stats, Double hand, uh, two-handed weapons, TDH units are going to be dealing out a lot more damage um, in exchange for versatility. And Hill is going to be the forerunner of these two-handed of this two-handed meta. And if you can get him, really, really good for your team. Yes, but and there's also something else that goes along with Hyo as well mm -hmm. that is important that we <coughs> mention, right? Because he's not only going to be the forerunner of the true dual hand <laughs> meta for years to come, mm -hmm. who, kn who knows? <laughs> but he also gets a CG limit burst on top of that. It's like yeah. more and more and more. <laughs> more Hyo more gives more. you everything you want. So let's go ahead and watch. Yeah, and here is LB. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it's going to hurt a lot. I mean, if, if a tornado made of fire <laughs> that can reach the heavens doesn't hurt, then I don't know what does. Obviously, Hyo is not here to play around. Uh -huh. Very serious business. All of that limit burst goodness coupled with true dual hand meta coupled with, you know, all of the other amazing talents that he has, such as chaining and just yeah. like raw damage. It's it's too much. I can't my heart can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> and the good news here is that Hill is not going to be a limited time unit or anything. You don't have to get him in a rush. But if you do want to uh, have a higher chance of getting Hill. When Hill is coming out, we are also going to have step up summons tailored for Hill. Mm -hmm. And if you get to the last step, you will be either getting a Hill or Awakened Rain, mm -hmm. who is also going to get a seven star awakening and be the top meta changing mm -hmm. tank as yeah. well. So weapon and <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get you get either or, but they are both excellent units and mm -hmm. units that a lot of the you know players have been wanting. And mm -hmm. the last time you know when Awakened Rain was around, you might have been stuck with just the Medina. You know, not the Medina is a bad unit, but this time if you don't get heal, you at least get Awakened Rain, and they kind of balance each other out, mm -hmm. um, hopefully. But <coughs> it's it's really nice seeing these FFB original units shining the mm -hmm. way that they do right now because you know. FFB pride, man. Yeah. Like, original units for the win. <laughs> and apart from Hill and the new units, mm -hmm. there are going to be some new 5 to 6 star units who, f previous 5 to 6 star units who are going to be awakened to their 7 star forms mm -hmm. as well. Exciting. 
This what is it? month we have a whole bunch of characters. Okay. Well, first of all, we have Awakened Rain, who we just mentioned as well, and mm -hmm. uh, we have Queen, um, we have Titus, oh. Onion Knight, Nyx, Roberta, mm -hmm. Emperor, mm -hmm. Transterra, oh, Transterra, Mercenary Ramza, mm -hmm. Ayaka, Ace, Knight Delita, Dragon Lord. That was quite a hand mouthful, so yeah. I hope there are pictures somewhere on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Floating <laughs> around. So this is very exciting because some of these, I mean, mm -hmm. I, we keep saying, saying like meta changing, but Seven yeah. Star Awakenings really are meta changing. Yeah, and definitely. one of the ones that I think people are going to be just obsessed with mm -hmm. is the new and improved Trans Terra. Like, if uh, she wasn't amazing before, at Seven Star, she is mind -blowing. a beast. Yeah. <laughs> and we are we're also going to get the global original um, Roberta at seven stars as well. At seven stars, Roberta is going to get um, dual wield and true dual wield mm -hmm. effects when we could equip with her Trustmaster, mm -hmm. and she'll be getting massive bonuses to her attack multipliers, as well as some flashy new attacks. So do do be on the lookout for her as well. Okay, I'm loving all of this. You know, attention to the very, I don't know, oh my god, <laughs> my Japanese is coming out. What is, what is happening? My, my Seven stars are like frying seven my brain right now. <laughs> this, this is how bad they, they've got me. It's so powerful. And Roberta, I was going to say that as an original mm. global unit, like I'm just loving all of the attention that they are getting. For yeah. example, like Olive's enhancements as, you know, Seven Star were amazing. People could not stop talking about mm -hmm. it. And now Roberta's coming in. She's getting all of these changes as well. So exactly. it's just more to look forward to. Yeah. More Seven Stars to add to your party. Mm -hmm. More meta breaking stuff. Yeah, and um, do note that even apart from Roberta, there are going to be several global version upgrades and changes to the rest of the Seven Star. Mm -hmm. Well, not all, but some of the Seven Star Awakened units as well. So definitely do be on the lookout if you have some five to six star units stacked up and waiting for their awakenings. Yeah, look forward to it, guys. On top of the new units and the seven star awakenings, mm. we are also going to give some other old, older units love as well in the form of ability awakenings. Mm -hmm. And the there's going to be quite a number of those about the Awakened characters, I think they're up here. Like yes, we'll the, show them on the slides. So somewhere, that you guys can know somewhere. Exactly who it is. <laughs> yeah, but if you have um, units that are included in this batch, um, good for you. And hope you have fun with those new shiny, sparkly Awakened abilities. Right, because it's not only about the seven star meta. Like mm -hmm. your five stars and six stars are still very much usable mm -hmm. units. So if they have ability awakenings, it could be that their awakened abilities paired with seven stars could get you like an incredible result in battle. So yeah. make sure that you're not neglecting your older units just because they're not seven stars. Like their ability awakenings could still make them like incredible Definitely. units. So make sure you're paying attention to those. All right, and now let's talk some bosses for bosses. September. I believe we have about three of them oh. coming in. I mean, hopefully that's that's enough to uh, you know, stay those. busy for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whenever you feel the need to crush something or destroy mm -hmm. something, I hope you're you're yeah, focusing like, in on these bosses. When you get something something new and flashy and powerful, you want to like test it out yes. into some test shootings. Shiny new toy. Mm -hmm. What does it do? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, and so this time around, we are going to have the scorn of the two-headed dragon. Mm -hmm. So more stuff for the chamber of the indignant. But mm -hmm. we are also going to have a new trial boss mm. in the chamber of the fallen. <laughs> <laughs> did I make it dramatic for you enough? <laughs> I hope I did. Yeah. Um, and this time around, I, th I think it's going to be... A, a little bit deja vu for a lot of our players, especially oh, in what global, it because uh, it's a Marlboro. Wait, oh. not just a Marlboro, because you get two, two at least two Marlboros. You and get a great some Marlboro, kitty Marlboros. Yes, and some children. So you know how we had like the family of bombs mm -hmm. trial. Yeah. Well, now Marlboro, he has moved on 
with his life, <laughs> and he found a Marlboro <laughs> Queen, and they just fell in love, and they had some wonderful children, oh. and they're all coming out F to kill you. <laughs> F fifty for, is for family. Yeah, you have all these. That's what family. I've been saying since the very beginning of, of <laughs> this game, man. Empathy is, is is a family game. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets to play it. You know, bombs get to have families. Malboros get to have families. Well, the only catch is that they try. They're going out of the way to try and kill us, but yeah, whatever. Wait, yeah. I mean, well, that's what. That's where we come in, right? <laughs> We're supposed to put their their that menace to rest <laughs> with our powers because we are the heroes. Mm -hmm. You know, there might be a family, but there are still the bad guys. So <laughs> <laughs> we still have to take care of them, right? So be looking forward um, to that. And mm -hmm. then we will also have uh, the scorn of Bracket? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, the, uh, Chamber of Arms. Yes, yeah. Chamber of Arms. Chamber Sorry, of there's so many, like, because there's the Brachiosaurus. <laughs> That's yeah, what yeah. I'm confusing you with. Sorry. So the Brachium mm -hmm. is, is coming to uh, the Chamber of Arms as well. So that's another weapon, you know, looming in the horizon that could be very useful yeah. to you. And, you know, you get oh. two at a time. Actually, this time it's a uh, crown for those magic users. Oh, OK. So each of these, all these bosses are going to come with different exciting new equipment. Right, so not, not every time will it be a weapon. Sometimes yeah. it might be an accessory or, not, or a different type of equipment. It could mm -hmm. be, you know, armor. Like, this is just a, a, a foreshadowing to yeah. the future because <laughs> there, there is some armor to be um, gained from the, uh, oh, the Chamber of exciting. Arms. Yes, so, all right, Crown, Magic users, be looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's it. I mean, I don't know what we're going to be challenging next time in the Let's Play, but we have our work cut out for us. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, as we just mentioned, um, there, there's going to be a bunch of new um, new goodies and new powerful uh, um, limited equipment you can get from these bosses. So definitely grab, some, grab your party, maybe put in some new units, and maybe put in some new five to seven star awakened units and get on with these, ch these challenges mm -hmm. is going to be a blast. Yes, put them to good use because now you've got those brand new shiny seven star units mm -hmm. and they might make the work a whole lot easier. So if you yeah. have them, make sure that you're using them, that you're showing them off. You're going to have a good time. Yeah. This is the Q&A corner oh. where yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we will answer your questions. So. We received a ton of questions from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then Dathor and I will answer your question as usual. Mm. That is correct. Mm. And today we have two questions that we have uh, to get through. So let's just get right to them. Mm. The first one is by Val Wharton. Val Wharton. And Val Thank asks, you. can we get a system where we can upgrade or downgrade enhancement crests? For mm. example, if I have 100 tech all crest, uh, I could exchange them for one tech mm -hmm. mill crest or something mm. of the sort. Mm. The type, uh, the type of material need uh, depend on the every player. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we currently have no plan to this type of system. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so um, I think it's well. Sometimes in mm. rare cases, um, RPGs have this sort of system, but um, currently, we don't think there's a strong need for such mm -hmm. system um, where this is 100% um, required. And um, since different areas, different bosses, different enemies drop different items, um, if we make higher tier items available more easily by farming the lower tier dungeons or enemies, etc., it's going to sort of defeat the purpose of the RPG of um, building up your team, having a mm -hmm. strong team so that you can challenge the more difficult challenges and bosses, etc. So at the moment, we don't have any plans for this. But if in perhaps maybe in the far future, if we have a completely new system that requires dedicated farming and is not making sense, is it, we, we might c consider something like this, but um, for current systems, we don't have any plans. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but thank you for your question, Val. Uh, moving on to the second question here. The 
question is by Aljon Talamisan. I hope mm -hmm. I said your name correctly. Mm -hmm. But Aljon asks, what is the future of global exclusive limited units such as Yoon and Elsa or mm -hmm. the Christmas and Halloween units? And most specifically, Charming Kitty, Ariana, in this oh. seven star mm. era, would they be able to upgrade to their uh, star forms in the future? Mm. Mm. So, Yoon and uh, the Christmas FFB, FFB original units mm -hmm. are currently uh, being planned to be able to awaken mm. uh, seven star. Mm. Okay, mm. good news. But uh, regarding Elder and uh, Ariana, mm -hmm. uh, there are currently no plan for mm. their new collaboration. Mm. So, therefore, would not be available for. Uh, waking. Oh, I see. Okay, well that's that's too bad. You know, I'm a very big fan of of Elsa. She's she's a great unit. Would yeah, love to see yeah, her yeah, rise yeah. to seven star. <laughs> Charming Kitty Ariana is also very uh, yeah. powerful as a mm. unit as well. So yeah. I'm sure many people are perhaps looking forward to it. So. Mm -hmm. You know, not at this time, you guys. Yeah. Really sorry about sorry. that one. Mm. But please keep your questions coming for next time. Leave them in the comments below so that we can pick them up and hopefully feature them. And mm -hmm. then hopefully, you know, we get tons more next time and we can answer some really good stuff for you guys. Yes. Fan Art Corner! Yeah. Oh, awesome! <laughs> so, thank you very much. You know, we thank received you, uh, you. many of your wonderful artwork. It okay. was awesome. Yes. Thank it's you so much. Always so lovely to see every single piece that you guys send us. And Such of course, talent. I know, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> like, you guys should be if you're not already professionals mm -hmm. at this stuff, it's it's amazing. But of course, we we always have to just choose the three to be featured yeah. on the show, mm -hmm. and those winners yeah. are going to be shown right now. All right, yeah. congratulations, you Congratulations. Guys. Thank, you Thank you so much for showing your love for FFV and enjoy the free lapis, which is mm, so precious. Please. Yes, and for the rest of you, of course, you can also show your love for FFV by submitting mm. your own piece of fan art, whether it's 2D or you actually made something mm. or, you know, you're cosplaying as your favorite FFV character. Mm -hmm. Anything is welcome and we'd love to see it every single time. So make sure yeah. that you're submitting fan art when you can and you too could win free lapis. Okay, it is that time to end the show, but at the beginning of the show, we mm -hmm. were promised mm -hmm. some more details and mm -hmm. secrets about this FFB Summer Festival, <laughs> right? Summer festival, yeah. So what, what exactly is happening with the Summer Festival? Well, the Summer Festival uh, will feature that everyone has been requesting the swimsuit unit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You guys Ooh. thought it wasn't going to come true, but it did. They were so requested yeah, yeah. in the fan festas, <laughs> at yes. least two fan festas I saw with my very own eyes, people <laughs> asking, we need Glasswell in a swimsuit. <laughs> we need the guys to also show a little bit of skin for, you know, mm. whoever enjoys the guys, boys yeah. and girls. We need something for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So I am very, very <laughs> excited for these units to join us. Yeah, we're going to have some summer, uh, summer themed units mm -hmm. from the main FFP characters mm -hmm. and we are also going to have a summer festival explora mm -hmm. exploration event mm -hmm. so definitely do look forward to that. Our antici anticipation for these summer more skinned units <laughs> <laughs> are the, the hype is high. I so. know. <laughs> the hype is high for, for, for me. I know some people were like, no, we don't need those. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do, you guys. We do need them. We do need more FFV summer units, both yeah. boys and, and girls. Something for, for everyone. But I think uh, apart from the swimsuit units, we uh -huh. are getting some other units as well. Some very oh. important ones, right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, also, the winning, winning unit mm -hmm. of the uh, unit design contest oh. uh, will be featured in the game. At the oh. end of September. Finally. Oh. Finally. So look for it. Yes, your beautiful <laughs> creations that yeah. you were promised would be in the game are finally going to be here in September. I cannot wait mm. to see them. I mean, the images alone that you mm -hmm. guys submitted look so amazing. So yeah. seeing them come to life, you know, in their sprites in battle is going to be a whole new experience. It's going to be glorious. Very, yeah. very, very excited for mm. all of these yeah. things to come. So make sure that you don't miss out on all of this content. Log in every day. Make sure that you're, you know, suggesting FFB to your friends and your mm -hmm. family. Play together. <laughs> Play as one big lovable 
group or family. Mm -hmm. And we will be seeing you on the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.